Hola señores y señoras and welcome back to the channel. I'm back with something totally different this time. Me and my friend, we, uh, we thought about to start Mating 2 again. We played that 15 years ago. And we want to check out how is it in 2022. So, new video. Same intro. How do we have the best start possible? Well, first you get your starter weapon by clicking the little roll here. If he's not there, you go here. Quests, game missions, and then you have a your starter weapons then you can choose I choose to play a, a, a warrior you can play whatever you, you want maybe I should explain what is meeting to you could call it a JRPG I guess it's a, a bit yeah but it's a Korean game oh, it started as a Korean game and now it's part of Gameforge and it's a MMO hack and slash pretty much easy peasy and like I said it's an old school game we, we played it 15 years ago and it uh, changed a lot from there it's free to play but what I recommend on the start of the game to get the be best start possible. It's literally what I did here. 10 pounds Hel helps you a lot. I got double drop for 15 days. Got a third hand that picks up a uh, money for you automatically so you don't have to do it it just helps you because we need money to upgrade our equipment so that will help us a lot in the end and then there's a new nice feature that i like to use it's the auto hunt it's a free feature obviously in the you can uh, buy the options to use potion skills that's viable options but the free feature is totally fine start and then that's it you see because I have the third hand he picks up the money itself but everything else will be living on the floor, so. But I got a and we level until level 10 or just leave it. You can leave it, he won't die that easy here. So be right back when I'm level 10. Okay, now that we level 5, we can get skills. As a warrior, we have the the choose between a body force and mental fight um, I go for mental fight because it gives me a skill that increases my defense but in the end it doesn't matter what you're going for here yeah, strong body increases defense by 20 on level 4 so then pay 500 to the store storekeeper and you get a a random buff oh i get plus 20 defense that's even better more survivability this buff is for 80 days and 20 hours now i think it's 90 days but obviously i i'm played already on this account that's that's why wait yeah you get that buff 
All right, guys, I collected the squad. That's the squad. Um, I'm over here. So, that's the squad we're playing with. We have two ninjas and one shaman. We will need the shaman for later, and the ninjas will just work for us pretty much. So, let's set them up. Everyone got their overpowered weapons. And then literally just start auto hunt. <laughs> Next window. Yeah, Shaman can start auto hunt as well. For now. Actually, I forgot to first send a group invite. Well, he's in the group, so start auto hunt. Oh, I pressed save instead of start. Okay, start auto hunt. Let's go. Let's invite the other characters in the group. Group invitation. Yes. I got myself a mount from the item shop. Nobody needs item shop like to play the game, but I'm just I just like to do it. So now that everyone is in the group, all I have to do is walk around and collect whatever they drop. As soon as you as you get level ten, you get a, a amount out of this box, but but you can't fight on that mount like you can on this uh, item shop one. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, too used to it. Then for me, it's hard to start the game with without a, a fighting mount. So I just bought, bought the mount for three days, but it's not three real days. It's three days using it. Like literally, I need to be online three days sitting on the mount to wear it off so all I have to do now is collect the items they drop collect the money here and actually I can just leave them be or I can help out by Activate auto hunt as well for a while. <laughs> All right, we back. We that's what we got. I sold uh, all the unnecessary items to uh, NPC, so we have sixty-one thousand four hundred. Young. We found a silver bracelet. But yeah, that's very good. That's like an, an item that you can keep f literally forever because it has max HP as as a uh, normal effect. And look at this. A golden necklace with a bonus of plus 1.5k HP. That literally doubles my HP from what I have so that that's that would be worth a lot but we might keep that and use it ourselves um, then here stuff like that copper necklace is good uh, for lightning resistance uh, I got I dropped two of them uh, because the late game everyone needs a uh, lightning resistance for grot grotto so 
that's a good item to sell and a few copper earrings a few up items and now we're preparing the characters here what we do on our auto hunt characters we level all HP we pump everything on HP I got them all standard equipment like a helmet and uh, a shield uh, on our shaman we need to increase intelligence all intelligence because that will increase her buffs later on so where's our second auto hunt here here again full of HP or vitality because it increases HP and defense makes them survive easier and then let's see if they are strong enough with levels plus zero equipment to survive around here. Yeah. That's alright. Okay, actually they they do still a lot of damage. But in the group they might be alright. Shaman might, might die, obviously, because uh, I just buffed her on just buffed her intelligence. So, oh, monk hand plus, plus three. That's that's for the shaman, actually. Huh. So. We train here because we need some bear gulls. Oh, bear gull, bear gulls plus. So now we keep going here for a while until all the other characters are ten or or at least we need a bit more. We need at least uh, 200,000 to make the ninjas shine. Oh, okay. Just died. Alright, guys. I have no idea how, how that happened, but... Let's first see how we, what we got. We got fear four bear gulls. Uh, ornament, some copper necklace. That we can sell. Uh, we probably can sell them for one million each, or maybe even more. Uh, some mission books, a bag of plus. Uh, someone dropped those, and some skill books. So we can make some money out of here. But a random person just came out of nowhere. And decided to help me leveling. I have no idea, but why? But obviously, I just took the uh, took the opportunity. So I'm gonna level with uh, with this person here. Shout out to to him or her or whatever. <laughs> uh, it's a French person. Um, I level with uh, with that person uh, a bit, and then I later on will open a shop. I bought the the bundle already and sell some stuff, so so I get some money for upgrading my equipment and so on. And with that, I end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, leave a, a like and subscribe if you do, and wait for more episodes on, of I want to show how a, a few tips and tricks how to start meeting.
to new in 2022. Uh, obviously, if you want to level quick, just get someone to level you, I guess. That always works. Wait, actually, let me put a, a potion to level up quicker. And obviously with the mount I have a 30% more experience. Alright guys, see you in the next episode. Bye.